Hi everyone, I am Preeti Dakal and I am from Tull and I am an A-level graduate from Trinity College. I gave my SAT on the November of 2023 and I achieved 1590 on it. It was my first time giving the SAT but the impression can be misleading as I had been practicing long months and even years before then. But for those of you who are interested in learning how multiple giving multiple tests and super scoring works, here's how super scoring is essentially uh, the practice that you can combine um, the score of reading writing and math from separate tests. Like for example, you gave your test in August of like this year and you score uh, like let's say 600 in your English and 700 in your maths and now you have time that you are satisfied with your math score but you think like maybe I could do better in English so for the next test what you can do is not focus on maths focus on building your English skills and then in the next test you can do your best in English section and let's say you get 750 on your English then and you have your 700 on maths so you can combine those 750 and 700 and get a score of so a score that is higher than the both scores individually you know, do you do your test or individually but that's it if you score super score different sections from like different times you gave the score so how it works is that you can distribute your focus even at this if you are good test by now like first test much you focus on math get the highest score possible on it and in next to the hg you can focus on reading writing and get the highest possible score on it so like you have a great score in overall the main factor that makes digital sat unique is definitely the interface is that you just click on the answers the questions are on your screen and you have your own uh, device with you and of course the questions for reading and writing are drastically changed from those of pen and paper it's just that you have to deal with one unique idea or one passage while answering each question and i think it's really unique and a good development that you can jump easily between questions and come back for review you can annotate parts of the questions and i am a big fan of the desmos calculator in math so in like the graphing calculator that is and it is really convenient for questions from algebra functions like all inequalities etc so for the level of difficulty for the sad i guess in itself it's uh, like an eight or a nine it depends on students like its subjectivity what kind of questions what kind of concepts are you exposed to in your studies and so but in comparison to pen and paper, it's comparatively a bit easier. I think you can access Quilago Tester and see what kind of difficulty it used to be. So the duration of which I practiced for SAT, I think linearly it was about three months. But I had been familiar with the Tesco format and I like taken practice tests since like two years before. Ani. The resources that I used to practice SAT, I think Khan Academy first and foremost, eh? I would be nowhere without Khan Academy. Eh? And then it's really effective Khan Academy because it has kere topic wise exercises that you can do you know, and you have no skills are open you can track on a sucking sir and then you can track your dates and everything and then college board practice just those have like the difficulty levels eh, based on the test i think those are like really balanced as well college board is the way go to website for blue book app too you know like blue book app is also a good resource that you need to have because the practice test there is um really helpful in a sense that you get to give your test in the format that you appear to actual test in a format single familiar in a bio you'll be familiar with the time limit and how you have to do your time management you'll be familiar with get a student generated response or change of the anime like everything regarding the actual test you can simulate the conditions of the test not a lot more of time also and as a thing just the just the but no i think that's really helpful for a digital test you know I mean, an external resource that I had was Kere, the Princeton Review for Digital Sat Prep book. I think like so can put it on the screen here. So that book is a step-by-step -step guide and in according to the topics of questions as well. I mean like there are some tricks and Kere tricks and shortcuts and Kosari Dine, how to approach the test as well. And I think it's a really good comprehensive guide in it. And one perk is that it also has like four practice tests that you can give online, like test key conditions or So that's a great perk as well. You can look it up right now. 
so the number of mock tests that i gave was like from the college board app Poco, and like when i was practicing there was only four tests in the blue book app so four from there and four from the princeton review book i had i gave like 12 tests in total my team timetable during peak times looked like like uh before i practiced for like three months you know like for the first two months i think it was just one hour per day for like one topic per day and like i used to give one practice test um in a week you know but then in peak times it was like i used to do two, two hours at most you know like give one module and then practice the questions that i'm making um uh, for in my blue book test uh like consistently i used to score like barely 1500 i used to get the mark in you know, a blue book matching and for the three tests i got like 1500 1510 like 1500 and then the test that i gave before the exam like i was so surprised you know like it was a significant increase i got 1580 the day before i gave the actual test i think that bode well for my actual test as well so all this talk of blue book so what is blue book exactly you know blue book is the official app that you used to give the exam on the exam day and it is endorsed by college book as well so just matching to test within matching you have a sign in ticket from the kid organization and you put it in there and you like routinely practice test the as the interface matching you give your test in the app you need to have it downloaded on your device and that's where you give the test so the significance is that like i mentioned before it has practice test you know and you can like have get it the score analyzed by college board the practice test be the head penny it is adaptive like you do not have to get it um you don't have to rely on yourself to do calculations like what the answer will happen right you do not have to estimate because the test in blue book as the practice tests are adaptive, uh, adaptive as well I and mean, like i think it's a good um alternative like to see you know i think it's a good measure to see how well you do in your exam and yeah and like you can be familiar with the calculator options you can be familiar with the references and timer cost of the kinsa and you like get a test or click guard ahead cut the answer you know how can you mark for you like just to be prepared for the actual test it is really important to have the video cap just familiarize yourself with the test format you know uh, so like important topics for english section i think the most important was for the reading section the important and ideas section and command of evidence mantra so command of evidence money question get it idea this on your idea like support check when you claim the and on claim matches support gone at like you keep on the head to support in sawala keep on the head to support the nola and just the source and i claim this is really important because it's an unfamiliar thing i know you do not know how to approach it so that practice it most it is important topic it will like create the entire questions may also the school and other is information ideas like purpose your sentence ko purpose case say your passes one your passes case as a whole purpose case side yeah case so those are important because you need to develop a level of skill to be able to do that and in math section i think the most important is functions and graphs in graphs you need to have very good command of graphs and how functions go into graphs how and like how linear function looks like and how equality functions look like and like exponential function is also a new thing that you need to learn for the side so like how that in graphs for algebra it is important algebra has like to algebra mix but also or some so like algebra is also important but even then you need to know how that algebraic like functions or equations in the graph i think that's important because that is unfamiliar to us Nita, like in our school and in our studies before math for the hygiene we do not get interact with it as much so there is a graphing calculator it's a tool that is completely unfamiliar to us right now we need to be able to command it really well and like something i missed was like in this section grammar is the most important you know like reading section by other to command claims information grammar has no questions but um it is also really to crack because uh it's just like one type of questions what you need to be understand is like you need to understand is ideas of because it's down how sentences are separated you know how sentences can be of different ideas in one sentence can be separated that comes in punctuation and how ideas can be separated like 
by our ideas, our ideas can be expressed in a sentence by use of clause and etc. So like that is really important in grammar. And like if you have a good understanding of that grammar section in DCA, like transitions are also about how one idea, even a sentence, ke or idea, the key or sentence or two idea, mazanda hai chain which word is appropriate to give that link. You know, so like I think grammar is really important and grammar is also like it's key it has like one core understanding at the uh, center of it in all the questions and if you're able to understand that you will be cracking in this section so like i said it can be difficult in a the questions are unfamiliar the skills that is required is unfamiliar claims or because of it, like the idea of the i passes having a claim and what supports is new to us you know i mean and there are also questions like information in ideas construction man there are questions about um character study it's a fictional setting and then how the character is boring in that fictional section our section how like setting matching how the character is feeling so that sort of questions is unfamiliar to us right now and you, like reading comprehension level funny it's the same the set is the test designed for designed equally for students all over the world so it can be difficult because how reading comprehension reading comprehension of students say in the us is a bit different but if you are practicing well if you have the habit of reading reading comprehension if you have developed gradually uh, i think it can be easy and regarding the most important thing that the students usually fail to recognize is that um do not let there be very long gap between your practice test and also be systematic about how you give your sets like first set may go to question sorry if you're giving another set and if you're doing the if you're repeating the same mistakes there is no progress neta so like map your progress well first set dine first set may kun questions are wrong or respond ram ready here and then give time for those topics individually and then practice well on that and then when you move on to another practice set you can be sure that you do not repeat the same mistakes and like the progress same permanent or swing in a select and do not have like haste in a practice test, practice test for Nubandapani. Have patience, like build your skills gradually. Khan Academy is a really good source for that. You know, like do the found clear your foundations first and do medium level questions, and then you move to advanced, and then you once you're confident, you know, like, then do the practice test and then assess what the Kara is a bandra. Be patient, do not repeat the same mistakes, and uh, be consistent with your timetable. Do not let there be too long gap because the knowledge is fickle and you can forget it if the summer so if you do not have time to like get a practice that repeatedly the main thing it's easy to lose that so be consistent with your practice and have patience um like what is considered a top or exceptional score i think exceptional score like what we really consider is Thing about 1500 um, like it is a really good score right now and you'll be in like the 10th percentile if you get that but i think anything about 1400 1450 is also a top score it will guarantee you like good sports in universities and uh, colleges and uh, regarding uh, scholarships as well so i think anything above 1400 will grant you scholarships for sure but like uh like above i think 1350 or 1310 also i think it goes hand in hand with your gpa as well but like if you have a score that is above 1400 or 1450 you can like rest assured about scholarships um uh, what are my suggestions who want to score 1590 on the sat is that um practice a lot you know like everyone will say this but like be systematic about your practice see what are your weak points you know kun topic kun idea change from kere ali garo lai ta sa kasta hal question garo bai ta and like have patience to work on that work on that build on that and like most importantly have confidence like trust in yourself i think this is not the thing like that i could include in other questions that uh the most important it's a really important thing in sat to have intuition 
like trust that intuition questions are the chain and questions will be misleading on purpose the options will be carry them confusing your options some way or option can be less the lack so like it is true for every kind of mcq test right so what you need to have is intuition you have to trust that my chain questions are required question or chain already for me for you now of course question for the head chain assess for the head chain first matching the question tick like that two option tick like that so when you say trust yourself do not second guess you know and also like have confidence confidence is a really decisive factor for your performance on the SAT as well just treat it as like your journey interface so many things in the news the test i'm giving it on my own device like i can i can do this have the can do attitude have confidence in yourself and like trust your intuitions and like practice of course <laughs>